Hello, uh, welcome to another non-landscape video. Um, we are still in, well we're in the beginning of May and uh, you've just seen a couple of videos or a video that I've done the other day on a speaker from BenQ. Um, like I say, they sent me a couple of items. This is the other item they sent me. It is a WIT, W-I-T, WIT e-reading lamp um, from BenQ. This screams, absolutely screams quality. Um, that's all I can say, just the weight of this box and the size of this box is enormous. If you were to buy a lamp, a decent reading lamp, and you this turned up in the post, you would not be disappointed just by looking at it. When I opened this, I was blown away by the size of this. Um, it just screams quality. Um, now, I know BenQ's uh, high quality equipment anyway, um, from reading through their website and stuff like that. Now I've had a screen bar that you've seen. I'll put a link up for you for the screen bar, probably up in that corner. Um, the screen bar is brilliant. I have it on the computer now. I have it on top of my monitor. It's absolutely fantastic. I use it all the time, every single night, all the time I'm on a computer, I use it. Um, it does take the glare away and my eyes are really relaxed and work really, really well. This is a very similar thing. It works on a similar process and it's as far as I can make out, um, from looking at all the details and the spec on this, it works exactly the same as the e-reading light. Um, or the screen bar. Uh, they also sent me a speaker that I showed you. Uh, I had that on Friday, last week on Friday. This is going to go out, this video is a bonus video because I need to get it out because there is at the moment a discount. This retails at £149, uh, so £150. Um, whether it's worth it or not, I do not know. That's not my decision. Um, but it was sent to me, it's, um, they sent it to me free of charge, I haven't actually paid for it and they've not paid me to do this video as per all the other ones, they literally just sent me the items and asked if I could have a look at them and I said I would because this again, the speaker's not really landscape orientated and this isn't landscape but it is something for using while you're using a monitor, for reading, for using your monitors, for lighting up your computer desk and stuff like that and it's supposed to be eye friendly so I will do it because again it's got a bit of a relevance to it, maybe a tiny bit but a little bit of relevance um, and they've been good enough to send it so why not. Um, I'll put all the description of everything on the side as I'm talking um, because I've not got a very good memory for stuff. Uh, there is actually a £15 discount at the moment, it runs to the end of the 31st of May. Uh, 2020 so yeah get yourself if you are interested there's a discount going at the moment um, this lamp what is it it's a e-reading lamp I'm going to pull it out the box and uh, take a look at it um, and all I'm going to do at the moment is I'm unboxing it because I'm obviously outside and I can't just plug it in and stuff like that so I want to unbox it see if I can just set it up for you on the table and then I'll go inside I'll put it on the top of my uh, desk next to my computer and I'll have a bit of a play of it today and this evening and I'll carry on this video tomorrow once I've had a bit of a play with it and see what the light's actually like. But I'm assuming the light's exactly the same as my um, screen bar, um, just a wider. This is supposed to have a 150 degree angle of uh, display. The idea is because it's got this, this, this nice smiley arc shape to it, the, the display comes out sideways. So the idea is to spread the light across the table, make it easier for you. Um, I think it's got something like a 90 centimeter range, I think I've read. Uh, so yeah, it's got it's quite, it's quite quite a range, 90 centimeters, just short of a meter. So you know, it's it's uh, it's got quite a range for spread of a, for for a reading lamp anyway. Um, it's supposed to be, I think, a, the first uh, ever e-reading lamp. I don't know about that. I don't know anything about e-reading lamps, but they they reckon it's the world's first. Um, it's got an intelligent control on it as well. The intelligent control, it's got a sensor on it so it can uh, detect ambient light and apparently it adjusts the light as and when it needs to for the optimum, for your optimum reading comfort. Oh, this is, he this is heavy, I'm not gonna lie, this is heavy, I think it As per normal, the battery went dead. So right, I'm gonna pull it out of the box because I'm not sure how far you've got before it uh, went dead. So I'm gonna pull it out of the box again because it was fun to struggle the first time and I'm struggling the second time. This weighs 5.8 kilos, if I remember rightly, um, which is quite a lot for a lamp. And I can understand the reason why, because inside the box, we have a base. Now I have actually opened this and I'll have a look at it, but I've not taken it out. I've not had any of this out, but this, this, I'm not kidding you, this is really, really heavy. Um, this is a solid chunk of metal and it does, there's definitely five kilos worth of weight in it. And there's a little picture on here, do not drop on your foot um, because it will hurt. And yeah, I'm telling you that is really heavy. That is some 
piece of metal that is. Right, what else have we got? We've got instructions, and what's nice about the instructions is it's actually taped to the polystyrene, so it's not flying around the box inside. Um, I assume this would be a charger or a power pack, one of the two. So let's pull it out and have a quick look. So we have a small, a small power pack with a tiny little plug on it. So I'm not sure what that does. And we have inside this sealed bag. Let's just pop it open. We've got uh, a variety of plug sockets. Now I'm sure the clever ones of you will tell me what they are. Uh, I assume that is a European two pin spec. Uh, that is obviously UK spec three pin. There is a square funny angled pin. I'm not sure what that is. I always thought they were American but they're bent so I'm not sure what they are. And we've got another two pin. Uh, one's a thicker one and one's a thinner one. So yeah. Let me know in the description. I'd love to know what all these plug sockets are and where they're from. But I'm interested in the three pin one, the European one, uh, the UK one. Clip that on there, that becomes our power pack. But what do we do with it? We've got a tiny, tiny little lead, we ask ourselves. Let's shift some of this out of the way. So let's just throw it on the floor as we do. Um, yeah, let's pull this out of the box. Let's have a look at it. Because this, like I say, this is heavy. I'm going to put that on the table for a moment. Shift those out of the way, put them in that bag so I don't lose them. Let's pull this out of here and have a look at this. It's obviously a blue colour. Now they do several different colours. I think they do a, a grey, a beige and a pink. Something like that, but I'm sure you can find it on a website. Ah, right, okay. So, this is our lamp. Still in its packet. There's our base. And the idea is this plugs into this, so uh, that's why it's shorter. So let's just pull this plastic off and have a little bit of a nose. The only way to get it off is to rip it off by the looks of it. So let's get it out of there. It's got a lovely filter. This cable, the flex, is really, really nice. This is like that high quality charger lead you get with that nice... Uh, braiding stuff on it's really really that's really lovely flex that is i'm not gonna i'd like that on all my equipment it's really nice yeah that plugs in there and we've even got ben q written on there how pretty is that so this then will sit on that pin there and this is why it's so heavy because this is quite a big lamp and uh, it's got a good a good wingspan on it for want of a better word, it will reach right over there. And I suppose without this decent base on it, it will topple over. So that's the idea behind that. It's also got a ball head on the top, which is really nice for setting up all the different angles you want to set it to for tilting it. We've got a dial on the top. I assume that's the on and off. I've got a little screw on the back here I've got to do up, make sure this doesn't fall off the top. And uh, yeah, I think we need to go inside, plug it in and uh, have a bit of a play with it see what it actually lights up like but yeah very nice a beautiful piece of kit it looks really quite nice quality so uh, yeah let's get it inside and try it out Right, well I've come inside, so I don't need me out on. You can see me now. Excuse me, belly. Uh, while we've been on lockdown, I've piled on quite a few pounds, so I'm spreading across the screen a bit more now for you. Um, yeah, I brought the lamp inside, and I've plugged it in uh, down the back, down the side of my computer. I would normally probably have it over this side, reaching over the top, I would have thought. Um, but it sits on the desk quite nicely, and like I said, it's, it's heavy, so it's not gonna tip over, even at this reach. Uh, I've got it sort of reach it up quite high because um, I wanted to uh, get the, the, the height of the I wanted to get the height of the light 
roughly at the top of my screen because this is where I'm going to be sitting and I don't really want the glare in my face. Um, so I'm going to switch it on and, and to switch it on is really quite nice. It's a touch sensitive. So you just literally switch it on, touch sensitive and it goes off. Um, at the moment it's on um, the ambient sensor. There's a little green light on the top that shows the ambient sensor. And if I knock that off, um, I'm just going to show you the screen bar. The screen bar's here and that's on an ambient sensor. And what it does is it flickers uh, when I want the ambient sensor on. You can see the screen bar, it lights across the side of here. It's got a quite nice light and the light's coming down the front of the screen. But it's not really lighting anything over this side of me keyboard. And I get a bit of reflection from the keyboard uh, when I'm working on the keys. So it's not ideal for, for the keys, I have to tend to lift up forward. From this position, all I've got is a reflection on the keys coming from the light there. So uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Whereas this, on the other hand, I'm getting no reflection on the screen, I'm getting no reflection on my eyes, I'm casting a lovely glow across the top of the keypad. So it doesn't matter where I'm sat on the keypad, um, the glow is really nice and it's a really widespread. Even though the light's only quite dim at the moment, it's a really quite a widespread across the table. Um, so yeah, we've got our uh, temperature settings. We can flick it down to a nice warm, soft glow. Uh, this would be ideal for sitting in the evenings if you've got it in the living room or beside your bed. Uh, just a nice soft light on your eyes. Um, I think it's quite pleasing on your eyes, but it's not the best light for reading, I don't think. Um, I prefer this nice uh, bright orange, bright orange, bright blue, white colour light. Um, I like that for reading because it's really, really crisp. All your letter and everything's really, really crisp. Now, I'm not a big reader. Anyone that follows me on YouTube does not see me reading much at all. Um, but Denise does the reading and things like that. Uh, the, the, the idea of this tilting as well is brilliant because you can tilt this just to get that reflection or the, the light just getting out of your face a little bit. And it's got this nice smiley look to it as well. Um, there's also a up and down. So you can actually turn the temperature, not the temperature, you can actually turn the light up and down. So you can go from a really bright light to quite a dim light, which is quite nice. I prefer it somewhere in the middle, maybe two thirds. Um, that, would, that to me is actually quite nice. I'm not getting any reflection on the screen, to be honest. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not so sure whether it's as good as the screen bar, because uh, the screen bar is obviously coming straight down the screen. But let me just switch that back on. I'd actually say, no, that was about the same. Um, not getting any reflection at all on the screen, which is quite nice, because normal lights like these ones, um, tend to give off uh, quite a bit of a flare on the on the screen so that's pretty pretty good um, like I say it's really nicely made you can have it tilting up and down if you want to work with it quite low and keep the light down low or you can tilt it up pretty high I think it said something like 90 centimeters that's about 90 centimeters there um, so yeah it's quite a it's quite a reach if you wanted to get it up out the way of your face um, but with that I can see the, I can see the light up in my eyes so I prefer to have it a little bit lower and uh, just tilt it away from me slightly so when I'm sitting here I'm getting no glare coming off the uh, light whatsoever um, but yeah really good really really nice like I say it's, it screams quality it really really does I, I think it's a fantastic fantastic light um, albeit not the cheapest of lights but if this is one of the first they've done or one of the first e-reading lamps I think it's well worth uh, thinking about if you do a lot of reading a lot of iPads um, this would be great for sitting down you know, beside your bed and flicking through your iPad and things like that. Uh, spec wise, I've done most of the specs on it. Um, it's 5.8 kilograms, um, gross weight, uh, where are we? Net weight, it's 4.7 kilograms. So I assume as it is, it's 4.7 kilograms. Uh, it's got an 18 watt um, lamp, which is an LED lamp, it's an anti flicker LED lamp. So there's no flickering on it whatsoever, which is really good because sometimes you get a bit of a flicker from lamps. So uh, yeah, there's no flicker on it whatsoever. I actually like this, it's really quite nice. I think it's real pretty. Um, it's got a color temperature between 2,700 Kelvin and 5,700 Kelvin. Uh, so daylight is somewhere around 5,200 Kelvin. So if you were to wind this right up, let's go back to the color temperature, that one there. So if you wind that right the way up and then just back it off slightly, that is pretty much natural daylight. Um, and if I was to look at the light here to the light on that side, and if I open the curtain slightly, you can see the light coming in here. Um, the light, I know it's a lot brighter there to there, and it's a very, very similar colour, um, which is quite interesting. So that just shows a bit of a balance between the two. Um, what else have we got? Any more information I can give you on this? Uh, it's a dual colour LED, which I've mentioned, and it's 100 volt uh, power input. 
uh, 50,000 hours. That's quite an interesting one. It's, it's got a light, it's got an LED, which LED lights, if anyone knows anything to do with lights, LEDs last an awful lot longer than normal bulbs. Um, and it's got 50,000 hours of use. So that's quite a long time to have a lamp on. Uh, and if it's anything like me, I tend to, when I'm on the computer, the lamp's on all the time. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. They do have one on a stand as well, and like I said, they do different colours. And there's lots of spec on here. I'll pop some of these images up that I can see on the computer as I'm going through them. Uh, highly flexible, which we know about. It's got a 45 degree angle, that would be that way and that way. So if you can't get the lamp in the right position, um, it will spin that way. And it also spins on its axis anyway. So, you know, there's lots of maneuverability to bring it right back over the top of my monitor. I can bring it over back over the side there. Or if you want it closer to you, you can bring it over the side here. So, you know, there's quite a lot of maneuverability and the fact that it is all twisting is really quite good. I quite like that idea. Um, like I say, the mention on here, concentrating lights, which are more of a bluer light, more of a cooler light and more an easy reading light, you know, something a bit more relaxing uh, when you go into the other colours. It's an intelligent lamp so it adjusts the light for you when you've got the little green light on, which is by pressing and holding, gives you that intelligent lamp, and what that'll do is that'll set the ambient light up uh, for, for whatever light it's getting as around the screen scene. Um, let's have a look what else we've got on here. That's about it, I think I've covered everything for you. Um, I will put all the description in, I'll put a link in the uh, description below for you, and uh, yeah, nice little lamp. Just wanted to say thank you to BenQ for sending me these items. Um, gives me something to do when we're indoors on lockdown as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone's getting back out in the uh, wilderness and keeping away from the hotspots. When you are allowed back out, uh, last Wednesday we were told we can go back out and start driving around and uh, do some more longer exercise. So it means we can probably use the camera a little bit now. So I'm going to get out hopefully this evening and do a sunset if I can. Just go for a bit of a walk up a hill somewhere local. Uh, about 10 miles away so if you if so that video will be going out soon after this one i would have thought so yeah thanks for watching that um there's the speaker if you didn't see the speaker i did the other day that's the uh, uh Trevola speaker which is really really cool i've got it next to my computer at the moment and uh i've been having a bit of play with that since i've uh, since i've got it so yeah thanks to benq again and until next time stay watching it's always about landscape these are just little bonus videos just for something to Fill some time and get you listening to my voice and boring you. So right, I'm going to sit here and play with this a bit more. And uh, if I need to do a bit more of a review tomorrow, I will. If not, then uh, see you soon.